Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, guys. I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making lasagna. I'm inviting you guys to come along with me and watch how I make my version of lasagna. So first thing I'm going to do is make my sauce. And I like to do it from scratch. Uh, sometimes if I'm in a rush, I, I use spaghetti sauce or any kind of uh, marinara tomato sauce. So I'm gonna use some pureed tomatoes and I'm gonna also use some chopped up tomato and this is in garlic and olive oil. I have my Italian seasoning and I have some meat. Also, I have some garlic, some onions, red peppers and mushroom. So this is going to go in my sauce. Okay guys, I have fresh lasagna uh, noodles. I have some ricotta cheese. Love ricotta in my um, lasagna. And I have a blend of Italian cheeses, including mozzarella and uh, parmesan. And then I have some, just some grated parmesan as well. So what I'm gonna do first is brown my meat. Normally, if I'm using a regular ground beef, I would do it separate and then add it to the sauce. This is very extra lean meat. It's okay if I do it in the same pan. And the reason for that is that there's not any like oil fat in this one. First thing, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here. So now I'm just gonna add the meat. So now it's nice and hot. I'm just going to let it cook until it's nice and brown. So I'm, in the meantime, I'll just keep stirring it occasionally and just so it doesn't lump together. We want to get it kind of loose. We don't want any like meatballs. I love lasagna. I just love it. I like the tomato sauce with the pasta. It is one of my favorite things. One of my good friends, we've been friends forever, like when we were like in our 20s, uh, my friend Rosa, she taught me how to do lasagna. And she is one of the best cooks I know when it comes to Italian food. So this is how she taught me to make lasagna. And I've been doing it her way ever since. I love it. So as you guys look, you can see it's nice and loose and it's nice, it's brown. So I'm gonna add onions and garlic to that and it's okay if i get a little bit of the um, pepper that's okay and i'm just gonna let the onions cook down and sweat and this way it's gonna be nice all the flavors wanna come out bring it all out get the garlic in there and look See how nicely that's coming? Oh, beautiful. It's smelling so good, that onion. Now I'm gonna add my peppers. Because you want it to cook. This is gonna cook so soft. And usually you would cook your sauce for a long time, but I'm not cooking it that long today. I'm doing it for about an hour. All right, now I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. Right there, the stewed tomatoes. Then I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Give that a stir. Okay, so I just added some water to that and I'm going to pour it in there because you want to have enough sauce that when you put your pasta in there it's going to cook it properly. About a tablespoon of sugar and that's going to help to cut down on the acidity. So I just put that in there. Some Italian seasoning. And I'm putting quite a bit, so about a tablespoon of dry Italian seasoning. And that's it. For now, I'm going to add my mushrooms later, and then I will taste it for the salt. Until then, I'm just going to cover it and let it cook down for about 45 minutes, and then I'll check it. 45 minutes later, and look at it. It's coming really good, and eh? look how nice that is. It's nice sauce, it's nice and loose, so that's good. And now I'm gonna add my mushrooms to it, because I don't wanna overcook the mushrooms. And then I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna add some pepper. So 
so I'll just add a little bit. It's nice salt in there, but and this is my um, it's a seasoned salt. I'm gonna let it cook for about 10 more minutes, and then I'll put it all together. My sauce is done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take some of this liquid out. And I'm going to use that to put on the bottom and on the top. So I don't want the meat in there. I don't want all the mushrooms and stuff. I just want the sauce. This is what we're going to do next. Take some of that and put it in the bottom of the pan. Okay, so whenever I can get fresh lasagna noodles, I prefer to get it because it's easier. I don't have to cook it. And then I'm gonna... Now guys, if you find you have a lot of sauce after, let's say you make a big pot, you can also use that to make, uh, put it with spaghetti or any other kind of pasta, you know, and just make another dish. And I get some of this mixed blend of Italian cheese and this is the ricotta gives your lasagna a really good flavor good taste and we put some of this parmesan cheese as well so I'm just gonna just do that it's gonna be nice and cheesy This one, there's no measuring. You just put as much as you like. And I have a little bit of sauce. I can keep it for spaghetti. Now we're going to take some of the Parmesan cheese and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. Next step, we're going to cover it up. I'm going to use some foil. And my oven, it's been preheated. So I have it at 350. I'm going to put that in there and let it cook nice and slow. I'm going to leave it for one hour. Okay, look at the lasagna, guys. See, it's one hour later. So what I'm going to do with that now is I'm going to just put it back in the oven for 10 minutes so I can get a little bit more color on top. Okay guys, so look at my lasagna. It's nice and brown on top. It's finished cooking. So what I'm going to do is cover it up back with the foil and just let it sit at least for 20 minutes. You want to get it to set. Otherwise, if you cut it right now, it's just going to be so loose and it's going to fall apart. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And here you have it, guys, our delicious lasagna. Thank you for watching, and until next time, you guys have a great day, and God bless you.